guys, like we promised, here is part three of our anniversary week video. We are going to tell you about how we fell in love and our proposal story. But this video is only about how we fell in love and our proposal. So stick around if you want to hear the story. This is my third story time video ever and I am excited <laughs> about it. Let me tell you, this story stuff is good. Anyways, let's get on with it. So, babe, welcome back to my channel. Yo, babe, how did you fall in love with me? Man, I think just doing things that were outside of my comfort zone. You know, I always got really comfortable in what I was doing, and if something kind of didn't fit with, that, with what I was comfortable with, whether it be my time that I spent on myself, because, you know, I, was, I wasn't doing much, but... At that time, what I was doing was important to me. So when you came into the picture, you kind of like started mixing stuff around because I wanted to change my schedule because I wanted to spend more time with you. So I think the fact that I was going out of my comfort zone and I was kind of putting myself out there to you and in return, I felt that you were doing the same with me. Once that, once that hit home for me and said, okay, you know, I kind of, this is good. I like this. I think that's when, you know, you can, you know, say that, you know, oh my gosh, I'm falling in love. But, uh, but it was those things before that, that were happening that kind of set that tone for me. I fell in love with you because you were different. He was so different. Like he wasn't what I was used to, not that he treated me any different than any other guy that I dated or that I talked to. He was just different in life. Like his parents were still together and he had like a core group of friends and he had like, you know, things that he was doing that I wasn't used to. And he was so kind to me. Like he treated me like a princess and he still does actually, even though I'm very <laughs> spoiled and I act like a spoiled brat a lot. He treats me like a princess and not only that he i could not wait to for him to meet my family mm. and that's when i knew this is somebody i could spend the rest of my life with because i couldn't wait for other people that i loved to know him because i'm like dang anybody could fall in love with this guy and they <laughs> have i couldn't wait for the things we had planned i couldn't wait for the things we wanted to do i couldn't wait for anything that was involving him in my life so that's when i was like dang i think i really love this guy like i i don't mind spending the rest of my life with him you know right. and it was it was nice because it was easy it was so easy i right. think um our elias told me he loved me first <laughs> no. did i say it first? That, that is a lie from you know where okay and from you know who oh my gosh who is where and who is who that's the question we, we all want to know. know um i think i said i said it first then right did. i did, did tell him first. i loved him first she did a lot of firsts in our relationships that's a lot <laughs> now that's going too far so he took we i told him uh, i loved him because i remember on new year's we were playing a game a very really revealing game it was like what is it Ten fingers or the finger? Whatever. Game. Yeah, it was. It was, some, <laughs> it was have, one of those fingers. Have had, you? Have you? Never like, have I ever. Never have yes. I ever. Yes, yes. And something that I'd done was revealed, and he was completely blown away by it. And the thing is, I've told Elias a lot about my past, but I don't think I told him everything. Mm -hmm. And I think it shocked him yeah. that he had to find out in that group setting because everybody in that group pretty much knew me. But I don't think he knew me on that level. Right. Thank you, Caitlin, for putting that out there. <laughs> Just might as well shout you out. You don't got to name no man. I might as well. But um, <laughs> anyway, so we went outside and we had, I think, our first fight. Yeah. Our first really big fight. Yeah. And I knew when I um, was yelling at him and he was yelling at me, I knew our yelling wasn't like, hateful yelling like i felt like oh my god why am i explaining myself to him why do i care so much what he thinks about me um oh my god i think i love him mm. and i remember going you know what i love you and i don't want to fight with you so either you're going to walk away or you're going to fall in love with me back and 
heat. It, this is such a movie scene. Right. That's really what seems. I was about to say because it but, was raining. Yeah, it was raining. We were fighting in the rain. New Year's which Eve. Which was like, a, it was New Year's Eve, which my hair was nice that day. So I didn't even care about my hair. That's when you know we were like at a nice apartment. It was a nice scene. It was, right. it was literally it was straight scene. out of a movie. Yeah, yeah, was... And he turns around, dramatic pause, talking about <laughs> dramatic pause. And he's like really upset at this moment. And he looks at me and he goes, I love you too. Like, I'm so in love with you. And he, we hug and we kiss. That's literally how we I might have cried, but it could have been the rain. No, he was crying. crying. He was definitely crying. <laughs> um, and that's how we that's how we told each other I love you. Right. It was a definite like movie scene, but it was real. Right. It was really real for us, you know? Um, one thing that was consistent was he never wanted to leave. Like, I think I broke up with him, like, every month. Yeah, there was always, like... And that kind of can lead into the proposal because oh, yeah. <laughs> we got into a huge fight. I had, oh, my God. I was so, so let stressed. Me, let me well, tell y'all. I, I was stressed about this ring because I was like, all right, you know, I'm not going to break the bank, but, you know, I still got to get something that's going to, you know, make her happy. Anyways, got the ring, made it happen. And then I was, you know, just like, how am I going to do this? We weren't having a good week, actually. We were not having a good week. In I know, because I was, you know, it was a really hard time for me. Because I had, you know, taken this vacation from hell. You know, I love the people that I went with. But it just wasn't a good vacation for me. It was a really, one, it was hard that I was pregnant. And I was in a, the worst heat of my life. And then it was just a really stressful vacation. It was just a lot of stuff kept happening. And mentally, I wasn't prepared for it, truthfully. So him coming to get me from the airport was like my saving grace at that time. Like, I feel like I needed to see him because I had cried a lot. It was just tough for me, you know? And um, I just was, I just needed to see him. So him calling me, okay, you pregnant ladies out there who understand your, how your emotions start to kind of pile up telling me I had a work emergency. I can't come get you. Nothing in my mind could, could conceive what was more important than me at the time. So I just didn't understand. So I was just pissed beyond. Like, I didn't even know there was a return for how mad I was. I had to call my mom to come get me last minute. And I had my God my godson with me and my sister. So I was like super irritated because we were all supposed to be together and this was supposed to be my happy moment. So I, I'm not even talking to my mom and my god sister in the car. Like they're like making fun of me. I can't even take a joke. Like I'm pissed. And my mom's like, you know, she's always trying to calm me down and I just could not calm down. So he finally gets off. It was probably like two hour wait. He, I fall asleep because I'm so mad. You ever been so mad where you just sleep? <laughs> I fell asleep. He wakes me up and I'm just not talking to him. Like I'm giving him the roughest time. He's like, let's go eat. I get dressed. I order food. I don't eat it. I order dessert. I don't eat it. I make him pay for all this stuff for no reason. And I'm just like, no. And then where else did we go? We went somewhere else and I'm still giving him a hard time. So then we get home, we're like fighting with each other and he's like super, like he's not even getting that mad. I'm just fighting with him at that time. And <laughs> I think your mom came in and talked to us. Yeah, too. try to come down and she <laughs> left and I'm still pissed. And I think I'm like, you know what? We're done. So I break up with him for like the 20th time that, that in that six month span and I go Mind you, this is how much I was so mad. I wasn't even affected by the breakup. I go, I grab my makeup brushes, and I start washing them. It was my it was my peace of mind. I'm cleaning up my makeup brushes. I'm walking back and forth. I'm not talking. Mind you, he is crying at this point because I definitely, like, I was not nice, okay? And then he was like, please, just give me one second to say my final words and I'll leave you alone forever. I'm like, well, finally. So I go sit at the edge of the bed and he basically, what did you say? But I do remember sitting in the room and I was just like my head down and I'm like, man, like 
this can't end like this. Like she, like mind you, she's like, we're done, da da da, storms off. But in my mind, I knew that we weren't. In my mind, I knew, okay, this is just a fight that's kind of taken, grown some legs and it's kind of just like gone to where it didn't need to go. But in my mind, I was like, no, and I was there with the ring and and I was like, all right, boom, I'm gonna have to pull, I'm gonna have to pull this out of my bag. You know, this is what's gonna bring her back in because with that week, you know, and the, the prior breakups and blah, 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 you know, that's when you really kind of got to show with, go deep within, you'll be like, man, do I really need this? Am I going to be struggling with this this whole time? You know, her, you know, there's still how many more months left in her pregnancy, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, you know what? I bought the ring. I want to do this. I need to make it up to her. And I wasn't using the proposal to make it up to her. And I knew that she was upset that I didn't pick her up. But I knew I was there for for that reason, and uh, you know I and I've ruined every other moment right. he had. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? I just need to pull her back in. I need to, you know, calm her down and let her know that I'm here, regardless of how she feels right now. And I'm glad it did because it, you know, when you hear about all these happy moments and people make all these crazy things happen, I think the way it happened for us is so how our relationship works. Yeah, We're in the a... middle of the storm. We can just because find of, each yeah, other. Because of our different personalities, we can come together regard, and it could be a whirlwind, but that just one little moment sometimes just kind of puts us back. And that's what happened. Yeah. She came into the room and, and I calmed her down and she could tell that I was serious and I needed to talk to her. So she was willing to listen. Uh, even though she wasn't putting it's off. It's very that rare listening. that I don't say a word, but I didn't say a word. But uh, but I was emotional, and I spoke from the heart, and I told her how I felt about her, and, and how I was looking forward to uh, to uh, the child that was coming and spending our lives together and raising Ezra, and uh, and then I just told her, you know what, I'm here for this reason. He was like. I love you. I just want to spend my life with you. Like I can't, I can't stop thinking about you. You know, you, you, you fight for me, and now I'm ready to fight for you. And he's like, so before you leave me forever, <laughs> let me ask you one more thing. And he drops down on his knees and he pulls this blue. I still have the ring box. He pulls this blue velvet box out, and immediately, I feel. Ter like when I tell you terrible, I'm almost bad that he made me feel that terrible because I felt so bad. <laughs> I just started crying and I'm like, what? What do you mean? Like, I didn't understand it because I'm like, we're breaking up. How do we get married and breaking up? But he was like, will you marry me? Will you spend the rest of your life with me? I love you no matter what. And I don't want to, um, I never want you or my future son to walk away from me. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like you? Yeah, that sounds about something. I like paraphrase that. it. He had a lot more to say. Life is a very <laughs> long-winded speech. -er. No, I just no, I just got a different way of saying things. He's long-winded, okay? <laughs> so this this is paraphrasing. This is a short version. So then, of course, I said yes. And I told you I was worried. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I was at he was worried at the time because I was for real done. I didn't say nothing to him. Um, but yeah, I said yes. And that pretty much started our road to the rest of our lives. That brings us to today, Friday. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary, baby. Fourth. I'm four. Yeah. This is, today is our fourth year anniversary. Um... Our wedding was the most beautiful day ever. He cried the whole time, guys. I might have cried a couple times. No, the whole time. <laughs> he made the whole everybody else cry. Um, but it was the best day, hardest day of my life, mm. really, but the best day of my life. Yeah. Because I knew I was marrying somebody who really loved me. Not a version of me, not the person I pretended to be, but Estralancia, Naftael, Hippolyte at the time. And it was the greatest feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. Hence why we're wearing white. I didn't wear white at our wedding. I wore pink because <laughs> I, I felt like my kid was there. It just made no sense. Um, but our love story was like a different backwards love story, but it was the right one for us. 
right. we were never ashamed of each other. We were never ashamed of our right. choices. Um, we were okay because we knew we wanted to be together. That's what mattered mm -hmm. to us. So, right. yeah. Happy anniversary, baby. Happy anniversary. Thank you for four years. Anyways, I can't wait. thank you guys for following our story with us and um, for hearing our love story on our anniversary week. That's it. That's hey guys, cool. thank you for watching our anniversary videos mm -hmm. and thank you for spending these last couple days listening to our stories. We hope you enjoyed our story times mm -hmm. and um, happy anniversary, babe, again. I love you. Love you mean too, the world baby. to me. Thank you, you too. Thank you, you too. <laughs> you know, I got to keep a G, man. That, you know, there was a lot of emotional talk, so I got to bring it back now. You know, I got to oh bring it back. Oh my gosh, she's so fake. Um, don't forget to follow us on the Dropbox below. All our information for social media will be there. Don't forget to like this video, share this video at least 15 times to show people what love looks like in our beautiful biracial yeah. relationship. Um, We're colorblind here, babe. We are colorblind here, for <laughs> sure. Because nobody knows what you are. Um, so thank you for watching. Until next time. Ciao. Yep.